Um, I run across a Spencer Ferron uh, video that he did called uh, AJ is Stressed. And I like Spencer, you know? Um, I've always liked Spencer. Um, he comes across as a real straight up dude uh, most of the time. And he's the only person that I've really seen defend Anthony Joshua like he should be defended. He's not soft spoken on defending Anthony Joshua. He speaks his mind and, you know, he'll tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? At least, you know, when it comes to him and Deontay Wilder. But as I'm watching this video, um, I'm going to have to take a few of those accolades away from Spencer because Spencer said one of the dumbest things I have heard in a very long time. He basically, no, and no, no, basically, he said that Anthony Joshua needs to respect Lennox Lewis because Lennox Lewis carried Muhammad Ali's casket. Are you serious? He needs to respect Lennox Lewis because he carried Muhammad Ali's casket. Before I even get to tearing into this like I really want to, Number one, let's look at one of the other peoples that was carrying Muhammad Ali's casket. One of those people was Will Smith, okay? I am a, well, I used to be, and I still am to a certain degree, a big fan of Will Smith. I like Will Smith. I like his movies. I like his persona. I like the guy Will Smith. But even though I like Will Smith, how do I not know that he's one of the most biggest flaming homosexuals, bisexuals, Scientologists, uh, boule, uh, butt buddy sellouts that there is in the game, okay? You know, I know he sleeps with other men. I know that he allows his son to walk around gay. I know that he allows his 12-year-old daughter to be taking um, uh, very racy photos with grown men in a bed. You know, he allowed his daughter to have a tongue ring at like 10 you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So even though I like the guy, his lifestyle, I strongly disagree with. Oh, him and Jada Pickett Smith there are swingers. And, you know, she's sleeping with young R&B singers. And he's sleeping with male television co-stars and Trey songs and all that stuff. You know, I know, I know all this about Will Smith. Why do I bring this up? To say that even though I like Will Smith, Will Smith was one of those people that carried Muhammad Ali's casket. Does carrying Muhammad Ali's casket make you anointed, make you clean? Does it make you the Pope? Does it mean that I can't ridicule you? Does it mean that you do not have haterism in your blood? No, it does not. So Spencer, as smart as he is and as smart as he appears to be, could say something so incredibly dumb. And your main factor for defending Lennox Lewis it's the fact that he held Muhammad Ali's caskets. Let's me know that you didn't have a ground to stand on when it came to defending Lennox Lewis because you couldn't came up with anything better. And you use Muhammad Ali as a contraceptive, as a protection to basically say you need to respect him just because he carried a legend's coffin. Get out of here. You, you got to be tripping. That doesn't make no sense. You, you, you got to be one unintelligent motherfucker to say something like that. It's just real talk. Just say Lennox Lewis is my homeboy. I'm tight with him. I also like Anthony Joshua. I didn't appreciate what he said, and I just didn't like it. But to come up with the excuse that you came up with for the reason why Anthony Joshua shouldn't call Lennox Lewis a clown... I mean, you just insulted your own intelligence and you just damaged your own credibility as far as me listening to you from here on forward. Because to me, I mean, grown man shit, it's easy to see. Look, my boy Lennox Lewis talk shit. Anthony Joshua just finally responded to him. And it was a mild response. Like, come on, man. Like, dude's a clown. He could say a whole lot worse about Lennox Lewis, but he didn't. But to say... That this man has no right to defend himself and defend himself in such a, to me, a very casual way. He wasn't aggressive. Calling somebody a clown isn't over you, you, you know what? It's crazy because th this is why I always tell people 
you have to be careful about putting people up on a pedestal because once they act semi-human, they seem like devils to you. You know what I'm saying? Anthony Joshua is doing something that he should have been done a long time ago. You know, and because he called him a clown, you acting like he called Lennox Lewis like a no daddy having braid wearing sissy. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like really dug into him. You know what I'm saying? Like a half Jamaican and half uh, uh, Canadian uh, uh, prick. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. He said nothing like he called him a clown because the man is a clown, you know? And, and, and it's just like I'm going to let you guys know. And the next video I'm finna do about this clown is very simple, man. The reason why Lennox Lewis looks like a clown and deserves the title of clown is simple, okay? You insult this man, you ridicule this man, you got everything in the world to say about this man. But at the end of the day, you still ask to train him. I'm sorry, that's a clown. You insult the same person that you want to hire you for help. You know what I'm saying? You're offering help to the same person that you're trying to tear down. And you actually think they want you on their team? I'm sorry, you are a clown. But anyways, that's just my opinion on that. And Spencer and, and what he said. I'm sorry, Spence, that shit was just retarded. You know, and you know it was. <laughs> it ain't nothing you could say, you know. You wasn't even keeping it real. You wasn't keeping it 100. You was just trying to protect a friend, which is understandable, but you ain't got to compromise your credibility in the future because from here on out, especially when it comes to Lennox Lewis and, and Anthony Joshua, I already know that you can't be trusted to give a sound opinion or decision. That's my thoughts on it. Bruce Vane, I'm out.